Hello, I'm Tim Rand, a head teacher here at Catherine Lady Barclay School. I'm delighted that you're watching this video, but also disappointed that you can't be here in person uh, to look around the school, uh, meet our teachers, and perhaps most importantly, uh, talk to our, our fantastic students. However, through this video and other resources that we have on the website, I hope we can give you a flavour of what KLB is all about. If you choose to come to KLB, we will support and hopefully inspire you to pursue whatever ambition you may have for the future. What you can achieve is without limit and we will work hard for you and with you to help you get to wherever you wish to go. For you to achieve your very best, however, it is important to enjoy what you are doing. Being interested and engaged in your learning, feeling safe and supported and enjoying the companionship of your friends, vital to your success in school. Every day you will enjoy many small successes that will motivate you on your journey towards the bigger successes. Not only do we want you to achieve the very best exam results you can, but we want you to develop skills and qualities that will ensure you are prepared for life beyond school and to be good people. So what are the key ingredients to make this all happen? Great people are ultimately what makes a great school. We have a tremendously committed staff who are skilled and approachable. We work hard to make sure that lessons are engaging and challenging and that you feel supported in class. Ensuring that the teaching and learning is as strong as it can possibly be is a primary focus and so we're continually looking for ways to improve and develop what we do. We believe that it is important to study a really broad and varied selection of subjects and within those subjects to have a really rich experience. We value all subjects whether it's maths, drama, art, English, science, PE, Japanese, French, horticulture, DT or music, amongst many others. Because every child is unique with different sets of interests. We want a curriculum that everyone can enjoy and feel successful following. Within each of the subjects, we take special care to make sure what you study is interesting, challenging and as relevant as possible. We also want to make sure that you are developing the right skills and attributes as you go through school so that you can prosper not just in your learning but in life more generally. My favourite subject is PE as all the teachers are really friendly and we do lots of different sports including rugby, football, hockey and athletics in the summer. My favourite subject is DT because it allows you to be creative and you can make whatever you want. When someone asked me what my favourite subject is, I'd have to say drama. It's filled with lots of opportunities and we've done recent productions such as Greece and the Titanic. I really enjoy music because we get a lot of freedom and creativity. <laughs> subject is art because we get to do more than just draw something with a pencil like we have like watercolors and paint and lots more which is really fun. School is not just about learning and results but also about broadening your horizons and finding new interests. We have great provision for sport here at KLB whether it is the main sports such as hockey, football, netball, rugby, athletics and cricket or some of the other sports that we offer through lunchtime and after school clubs such as fencing, archery and handball. You will have opportunities to just play for pleasure or enjoy skilled coaching that will help you attain more elite status. Being a large school we can offer a huge array of other clubs. Robotics and computing, equestrian, DOV, um, over 170 students last year did DOV at all levels. Trips to China and Japan, uh, poetry, photography, manga, electric kit car racing, science chess and reading clubs to name but a few. There are lots of clubs on offer at KLB. Some I do are samba, choir, rugby and hockey. My favourite is rugby because it's very active. Uh, after school, I've played uh, football, hockey and started rugby when I came to KLB. The school clubs that I've enjoyed have been hockey, choir, drama and orchestra. KLB has a beautiful setting and we're working hard on improving and enhancing the site, classrooms and social spaces to make it an inspiring place to come and learn. Even just over the summer, we've completed a new garden, upgraded the maths block, refurbished the drama studio and brought the music rooms up to date with new technology. 
Kelby's environment is great as there are lots of open spaces around the school. The environment at Kelby is really friendly and it's really open so there's always people to talk to. It's really nice having a school in the countryside and it makes us very different to schools in the city and we have really nice views from our classrooms. The support you receive at KLB will be second to none. From the transition to KLB, the tutor, head of year, students and other professionals to the support you receive with your learning. If you are stuck, feeling low or just need someone to talk to, there will be someone to help. We have 12 teaching assistants, three student support mentors, a mental health nurse, as well as dozens of sixth formers who sign up to become talking and confidence partners. We will look after you as you progress through school whatever your problem, big or small. Hi, uh, my name is Susie Smythe-Roberts and I'm the pastoral support advisor here at school. This is Barkley, the school dog. He um, is in school every day and can be found usually with Miss Khan in her office, but I quite often pinch him to come and say hello to the students when they're with me as well. In my role as pastoral support advisor, I support uh, parents and children here in school. Parents can contact me uh, via email or can call the school um, and to have a chat with me. Uh, the students can either self-refer via their teachers, tutors or heads of year, or um, alternatively the teachers and heads of year uh, can refer children to me as well. By coming to KLB, you will join our community where we respect each other for who we are and where we are kind and generous to each other. It is hugely important to me that everyone feels that they fit in and can find their place, which I am sure you will too if you choose to come here. Over half of our students currently stay on for sixth form, where they can take advantage of a really wide selection of subjects, excellent teaching and great support, and so preparing them for the next stage of their lives. The sixth formers work hard, get fully involved in the life of the school and look smart. They really do act as role models for the younger students. On top of that, the results that the sixth formers achieve in their A-levels have consistently put us in the top 5% of schools nationally. These are what we believe to be the key ingredients of a successful school and what we are always looking to improve upon to ensure that you have the best experience possible each and every day. I could go on for a while about KLB. I think it's a great place to come and learn, but you may believe it a little more if you hear from some of our students about their experiences. Hi, I'm Lou. I'm a Year 7 pupil that have just arrived at KLB School. Hi, I'm Joss and I'm also a new KLB student. When I came to Year 7, I was worried about getting lost and being late to lessons. However, there's lots of signs around so they can, that can help you on where, which building you'd like to go to. And we also got given this map where I could navigate around the school very easily because it's really clear. And if you were to get late, teachers didn't mind um, because they know what it's like to be a year seven because they've dealt with it in the past. Also, there's lots of other students that walk around the school. So if you were to get lost, they can also help you navigate around. When I arrived in Year 7, I was very nervous about making friends because I had come from a very small primary school and I hardly knew anybody here. But within the first week, I would made loads of new friends. I would found them in working together in classes or meeting up and in, at break and lunch or meeting at the Dragon, which is just behind me. And it was really nice to be with them around the amazing scenery around here at Kelby. Hi, I'm Ted. And I'm Kate. The transition from primary to secondary can be a nervous experience, but all the KLB staff are extremely supportive and make the adventure as enjoyable as possible. Everything, from the friendly older pupils to a nice setting, can help you settle in, but tutors are the biggest help at the start of Year 7. Tutors are a big part of KLB life. Each and every one will help their tutor group settle in and make you feel part of the school community. You can go to them for any questions or queries you may have and they support you throughout. Coming from a small primary, I was slightly nervous when I arrived at KLB, but also excited and surprised at the size and layout of the school. But after a short amount of time, I learnt my way around the school site with the help of the signs, helpful students and teachers. Getting to lessons is really easy and there's no reason to be scared since there are sick form students teachers and your tutor to help you find your way around the school on your first day. 
If you're late to any of your lessons, then all the teachers will be understanding. They won't get mad at you, don't worry. When you do get to your lessons, the teachers will provide you with your book and will usually spend a whole lesson getting to know you. Or you'll be doing fun things that involve the subject you're in. We also have the Show My Homework app, so you can check if you have any homework to do. If you are stuck on the homework, you can email a teacher and tell her or him which bit you're stuck on. After each homework, you get given a blue sticker provided by the teacher to tell you what you've done well and what you can improve on. In Year 7, you have to do a run around the field at the beginning of your first PE lesson and some easy tests to set you for maths. We also have tutor challenges with your tutor every week, which you can earn pace points with, which are house points. Sometimes we have house challenges and house sports events. In Year 7, I had an amazing time meeting new friends, exploring the grounds and taking part in a range of fun activities that the school has to offer. I highly recommend Kilby as an excellent secondary school and know you will love it as much as I do. I was also amazed by the amount of extracurricular clubs on offer. I have taken part in rugby and hockey after school clubs and found both of them great ways to exercise and be part of a team. I have also taken part in badminton, chess, choir and samba lunchtime clubs all of which I found fun and a great way to meet new people. There are lots of opportunities to do other clubs after school. I've done hockey, drama club, football, choir and music club. They have all been so much fun and have helped me improve on all my skills in each club. I would recommend KLB because there's a lot of support around school. Also, you have so much fun with all your friends. When we asked parents last year for their impressions of KLB, the responses were overwhelmingly supportive. These are just some of the positive comments we received. Exam success is clearly an important factor in choosing a school. Most years, head teachers will talk about their latest results. But with all the chaos around grades this year, this is harder to do. Talking about percentages and progress measures this year is almost impossible, so I won't be doing so. Suffice to say, we had happy students who achieved extremely strong grades. It is probably more pertinent to talk about results in previous years and how they have been improving over time. The key attainment measures have improved in each of the last three years. In 2019, we achieved our three key benchmarks of over 80% achieving 9 to 4 in English and Maths, 60% achieving 9 to 5 in both of these subjects, and 30% of all results being at grades 9 to 7. We will be looking to maintain and indeed improve these standards over the coming years. As you can see, there has been an improving three-year trend in all three of these measures. The Progress 8 score measures how far students have travelled from their starting point, a figure that continues to improve. We are confident that this upward trend will be maintained into the future as well. We are proud of all students' achievements. We have students leaving KLB with a full range of grades, from 9s down to 1s and 2s, which for many represents real success. Achievement is not just about the grades you receive, it's about the skills you have learnt, the obstacles you have overcome, the clubs you have joined, the instrument that you have tried, the confidence that you have developed. We want every young person to leave here feeling that they have achieved, have been successful, made progress, developed into a young adult with purpose and direction. This will naturally look different for every individual and we're committed to helping each of you achieve whatever it is that you want to achieve. 
As an ambitious school, we want to continually improve on what we do. As mentioned earlier, great teaching and learning is paramount. This year, we've appointed Kate Vandenbroek as assistant head teacher, and her main priority is to ensure teaching and learning continues to develop and improve. Some of the questions we're asking ourselves and discussing are, how do we challenge and inspire the most able children? How do we involve the quiet students? What's the best way to provide feedback? What homework should we be setting? How do we best prepare students for exams? And how do we integrate technology into our teaching? Our teachers have a great desire to find solutions to these questions and others too, to make sure that you make as much progress as possible in your lessons. We also want to help you become better learners so you become more independent, able to revise effectively and to adopt better study habits. This will help you not just in school, but as you head off to university and into the workplace. Our parental communication is already a strong feature of the school, but one that we look to improve further. For example, we introduced a parent portal last year so reports can be accessed electronically and so parents can see attendance, timetables, achievements and hopefully not too often undesirable behaviour. We're always happy to hear from parents and to look to solve problems and answer questions swiftly and effectively. The last six months have been tough for everyone, further heightening our awareness of the issues of student and staff well-being. We will do our best to look after everyone in our community, students, staff and sometimes parents too. The pastoral support and care that we provide is excellent, but we know that we need to adapt and change as pressures and society changes. Recent events have made it even more clear of our duty as a school to promote diversity, to ensure that we're educating young people to become respectful citizens who recognize our differences as a positive aspect of our society. We will work hard to develop individuals who not only understand about diversity, but who go out into society and actively promote and change how we think about and act around each other. Over the last year, we've also worked hard on sustainability with new solar panels, electric car charging points and spaces that encourage biodiversity. We will continue with this program of reducing our impact on the environment through education and involving you in how the school moves forward towards a greener future. We have introduced a new year seven and eight curriculum this year. Subjects have amended what we teach to make it more relevant and interesting, whilst teachers are going to take more time developing skills and a deeper understanding of topics covered. We are keen that what you study and the skills you develop from year seven prepare you for your exams and futures whilst exciting and inspiring you at the same time. We already have a broad range of subjects to study for your exams, but we will continue to review and amend to suit you and the changing world. I firmly believe that it is vital to have high expectations and standards in and out of the classroom, whether it is homework, levels of effort or behavior or how you are presented. We will continue to work hard so that you enjoy an environment and culture of high standards throughout the school. I would like to talk briefly about admissions. Some of you have done this before, others not. The process is pretty straightforward. You fill in the common application form and apply to your home local authority, either Gloucestershire, South Gloucestershire or Wiltshire. You can use the local authority admissions websites for support and information and our admissions policy is on our website. My simple advice about which order to put schools is to do it by preference. Don't overthink it or believe that there is a game to play with your order of choice. Just fill in by order of schools your child wishes to attend. It is such a shame that we can't offer visits, but I do hope that you understand why. So in summary, if you choose to come here to KLB, we'll firstly be absolutely committed to getting to know you and then ensuring that you receive great teaching, wonderful care and support and a vast array of opportunities. Hopefully resulting in you achieving great things and being as successful as you wish to be. We're extremely excited about the future here at KLB and would be absolutely delighted if you choose to join us. Thank you.